you get involved with the needs of others, it, um, quite often the donor is the beneficiary. As a civic-minded entrepreneur, Peter Brown has few equals in British Columbia. He is a man of passion who created and built a company that has played a significant role in the building of this province. The measure of his work and the things he believes in are all around us. From the time I started serving in public life back in 1984, Peter Brown has been there making public contributions, whether it's as a chair of Expo, whether it's being recognized as an Entrepreneur of the Year or part of the Canada's Mining Hall of Fame. He's always been someone that recognizes the strength of our country and the strength of our province. And he's made us better because of that. Looking to the economic benefits of the investments in mining and other resource industries that Peter Brown has been a part of, and then you begin to get a sense of the man. Peter Brown is the perfect example of how ideas manifest themselves in the business community. Peter's story is unique. After dropping out of university, he headed east to work with Green Shields, an investment firm. Then, at the age of 28, he decided that he wanted to build his own firm and return to Vancouver. So he and a partner made a calculated gamble. They invested $23,000 in a failing company. And we bought a firm that had no reputation, no money, no history, and no talent. <laughs> that was a little small, bankrupt bucket shop in Vancouver. And today it's 2,000 employees with almost 40 offices around the world and growing. That company today, of course, is Canaccord, the country's biggest non-bank owned investment dealer. Approaching $1 billion in annual revenue, it is quite literally a world changer. Peter Brown's organization has raised more money for mining and, and, and petroleum uh, exploration around the world. You know, it's quite an accomplishment that Peter's achieved in terms of building a company like Canaccord with a global reach that's in, I think, pretty well every continent in the world in a significant way. And he's grown it from Vancouver. Passion is what keeps, putting one, keeps you putting one foot ahead of the other. That passion and the success that came with it allowed Brown to make a significant contribution to his community. Public service is a part of his family's tradition. His father played a role in the creation of the Vancouver Aquarium and was a driving force behind the 1954 British Empire Games. His uncle contributed one of Vancouver's most famous landmarks, the Mermaid in Stanley Park. They were constantly involved in projects to make BC a better place take it to its rightful place. So I inherited that. Peter devoted time and energy to the organization of Expo 86, as Vancouver put its best face forward to the world. He was on the board of Van Ock and played a key role in the success of the Olympic Winter Games. Other features of the Vancouver skyline like BC Place also owe much to his extraordinary business instincts. One of his proudest achievements, he says, was his record-breaking fundraising work for UBC. And it was that institution that awarded him an honorary law degree, a tribute that placed him in the company of people like the Dalai Lama and Bishop Desmond Tutu. I have never met anybody in this province who cares more about BC than Peter Brown. He's given his time, he's given his money, and he's done all kinds of things. Nearing 70, Peter has relinquished day-to-day -day management of Canaccord but he says he has no intention of retiring. He does, though, have more time to lavish on other interests, like his collection of carved decoy ducks and mechanical bank collection pieces. Peter's zeal and attention to detail in collecting is every bit as intense as his lifelong dedication to entrepreneurship. This collection is said to be one of the world's biggest. Peter Brown is not the kind of man who does anything in half measures.